Hi, my name is Tanner Rose, and I'm an Open National Trainer. Today, we're going to talk about self-passing challenges from the Open Round Net module. You can use any size ball. In this lesson, we're going to use a ball the size of a spike ball, about the size of your hand. You can use a larger or smaller ball, depending on what you have. Today, we're going to start our Round Net training uh, by completing a series of self-passing challenges. There are two types of passes used in Round Net below chest, and above chest. Both passes require you to be ready in an athletic stance, use proper hand placement, and palm strike to hit the ball. Below chest passes require hand placement at waist level, palms out, and fingers away from the body. Above chest passes require hand placement at shoulder level, palms out, and fingers pointing towards the head. On the start signal, work to complete the self-passing challenges. You're gonna have about a minute to complete the challenge, you'll need to do 10 consecutive strikes to reach JV level, or 20 consecutive strikes to become varsity level. Let's try it. First, you're gonna to wanna to get into that athletic stance. Your feet, your knees, and your hands, as well as your eyes, should be ready. Your hand placement, again, for below chest is palms up, fingers away, and above chest is palms up, fingers towards the head. The palm strike, you should have the palm flat and strike between the heel and the fingers. There will be six different levels today. The first four will be stationary, and the next two you'll be able to move. Level one, use below chest passes only. Again, this is stationary, but it is important for you to move a little bit to be in a good position to strike the ball. You'll have one minute. Level two, use above chest passes only. Again, you're gonna to try to be stationary. You wanna keep that ball above your head. Level three, use a combination of above and below chest passes only. It's important to be stationary, but you can move around a little bit so that your body is in a good position. Level four, alternate left and right with below chest passes only, working on direction and force.
Level five, use below chest passes only. Walking around the space that's available, try to move a little bit. In spike ball, the ball's not always going to go to you. You're gonna to have to learn to move. Level six, use below chest passes only, jogging around the space that's available. In spike ball, oftentimes the ball will be hit quite a bit away from you. You're gonna to have to get used to running to a ball to strike it to a partner. Feel free to create your own self-passing challenges. Here's some things to think about. What are the components of skill-related fitness? Which components affect round net performance and why? How would you adapt one or several of these self-passing challenges to work on a specific component of skill-related fitness? Develop self-passing practice plan that you can do outside of class in order to improve one or more component of skill-related fitness. Thanks for checking this out. For more health and physical education at home resources, check out Open's module, Tools for Creating an Active Home, Physical Activity and, and Physical Education. Go to openphyseded.org backslash active schools backslash active home.